you guys? We are fantastic. Now, you've been a very, well, you've all been very busy. You've just uh, wrapped up a tour here in Australia. How'd that go? Oh, it went fantastic. I mean, we had sold out shows all across the country. Uh, fantastic audiences, as always, uh, uh, because, I mean, we, we just have had such a such an awesome uh, life experience to have so many fans in Australia and to be able to come back year after year. It's it's pretty amazing. It's the kind of thing that every band dreams of, and, and we feel lucky that we're one of those bands that has a chance to actually do it. And you had Australia's very own Jason sing with you as well. Oh yeah, no, he was fantastic. We really enjoyed him, and uh, and uh, he was a good hang as well. So we uh, we chatted a lot backstage, and uh, he was really fantastic. I really enjoyed his, his stuff a lot. Now I'd like to cover my butt when it comes to interviews, so I'm going to ask you the question I ask in every interview. What is the worst question you've ever been asked in an interview? Um, well, the worst question I've ever been asked, as in most embarrassing for the interviewer, was. So, when did you guys meet? Um, but um, but I would say that the more consistent um, the more consistent question that we get asked these days, which I find uh, interesting, is uh, if we get sick of playing old songs. And I always kind of smirk and laugh because I obviously you know obviously we don't uh, because what's the point in getting sick of your own stuff? <laughs> And why would, why would you get back on the road and, and tour with each other again and release new music? It, well, exactly. And, and, and the cool thing about, about playing shows and being in a band is that it is new every night. And yes, it is true that you do play certain songs um, you know, consistently over the course of 20 years more than others. Uh, but there are a variety of them. And, I'll, and honestly, that's just, part of, that's just part of being a musician. I mean, the repetition is just part of the job, part of the deal. And, and, and it is fun. And it's hard, to, it's, hard to, it's hard to ever get sick of just about anything that, you know, thousands of people are singing out loud every single night along with you. <laughs> well, I'm going to say, is it just me or is the 20 years gone fast? Because when we heard that you were going on a 20-year anniversary tour, I'm like, it can't have been yeah. that long ago. It has gone really fast, and yet at the same time, it also feels like um, an eternity ago, too. And that's what's kind of strange about about time. And, you know, I, I, I did actually have, I think actually think in some ways, uh, some of the stuff that is really, uh, like, old, old, as in 20 years ago, you know, middle of nowhere and things like that, uh, our first few singles, you know, and all those kind of things, first couple records. And that that does feel like a, a while ago, but it also feels very, very present. I think the things that are actually really strange for me are things like I was I was looking at a live record um, called Live and Electric that we did back in 2005, and I just had this absolute shock because I couldn't I hadn't thought about how long ago that was, and it was 12 years ago, and I was just thinking to myself, wait, wait a second. So, so sometimes certain things just really hit you really weird. You're like, oh, that was yesterday. Wait, that was 12 years ago. Where are you? Yes, yes you. We know you're listening. But we'd but love, we'd to, love know to know from, from where. where. Email us, info at mellomania.com.au or let us know on Facebook and Instagram. Hashtag Mellomania Radio. Now, one of the coolest things of, uh, about music is the writing process. You just released I Was Born. Mm-hmm. How do you boys or men collaborate w- when it comes to putting a song together? Well, I mean, it comes in a variety of ways. You know, we do do um, we do do co-writing as well with other people sometimes. But of course, the majority of the songs that we've written over the years, including songs like Umbop, uh, were just exclusively the three of us. So it it, it kind of ebbs and flows. The song I was born uh, was actually uh, co-write with some friends. Uh, during a Los Angeles co-writing session where we were just, we weren't even actually thinking of, of this song as being something for a Hanson record. And, uh, we all ended up falling in love with the song so much that it just became, it just became an obvious contender for what we wanted to do next. And we really loved most of all the kind of lyrical content, the motivation of the song, the hook saying, I was born to do something no one's ever done. And the idea that we could, um, you know, this many years in, be kind of uh, talking about the the fact that not only have we been able to pursue our dreams, but encouraging others to continue to revitalize that dream and remind themselves that it's never too late to do the kind of things that you've always wanted to do. It doesn't have to be the the take.
take over your life kind of new job or something, but it can be that check some things off the bucket list thing. And if you're a young person still looking for your career in life or something like that, it can also be, you know, the crazy dream that, you know, you've always you've always thought you needed to do but just never had the guts to do it. No matter where you are in your life, uh, I think there's a lot of lyrics and a lot of message in, in the song I was born that uh, are important and, and resonate, certainly for me, and it seems like it resonates for a lot of other people too. Well, speaking of lyrics, where is the strangest place you've been inspired by lyrics? <laughs> uh, probably sitting on the toilet. That one seems to be a bit of a regular yeah, is that a regular one? Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's. <laughs> I'm going to leave that alone. I'm just going to leave that alone. Well, it's regular <laughs> at least two occasions, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes, exactly. Yeah. There's all kind. There's all kinds of things I can, but probably shouldn't say about that about my initial comment. So I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to swiftly move along. Not sure I want recordings of myself saying certain things. <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> so what's next for Hanson? I hear rumors of a Christmas album. Yes. So there's a Christmas album that'll be coming out later on this year, which we're super excited about. Our first um, Christmas record was, brace yourself, 20 years ago in 1997. And we, for the better part of the last 10 years in particular, kept getting requests from the fan base. Okay, seriously, when are we going to get a new Christmas record? It's one of our favorite records. And and over and over and over again, that would happen. In fact, actually, a little, little known fact, one of the only records that my wife actually owned of my band was Snowed In, our Christmas record. So she was like, yeah, your, stuff is, your stuff's all right, but that Christmas record, that's good stuff. <laughs> that's one way of keeping you humble, isn't it? <laughs> It is indeed. Uh, but we're really excited about this new Christmas record it, it, in conjunction with the 20th anniversary of uh, our first one. We're putting out another one. So maybe so maybe after that, you know, we'll have a little 20-year pattern. Maybe 20 years from now we'll do another one. But uh, in the meantime, we're, we're really excited about the idea of getting it out and letting people hear what we've been working on. We worked with our producer... We worked with our producer friend, Mark Hudson, who did the first Christmas record with us, so that was a nice uh, creative reunion, and uh, I feel really, really good about the record we made. Well, the cool thing is, if you do wait another 20 years, maybe you could get the Hanson kids on, on board with it, too. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, the, the kids do make a few cameos on the record, too, which is kind of fun. That is cool. Thank you so much for having a chat with us. Yeah, no problem. And here's your latest single, I Was Born. This podcast is powered by Hello World Travel Naracourt. There's no mission too big or small for Charlie's agents. Okay.